How the hell you doing, brother? Hope you're feeling freaking amazing. And you got the spirit inside of you. Recently, I purchased one of these little uh, bad boys, which we're going to be very cautious, even though I've checked it like 10 times. All right. There you go. Empty, clean, and ready to rock. Listen, this does not make me feel any more masculine. If anything, I don't want to get in a fight with anyone, ever. I never want to use this, ever. Dude, complete respect for that tool. Complete respect for that tool. When I was growing up, my dad, very good fellow, man, good parents, that saw the good in other people. My dad was like 300 pounds, 6'4". All he had was a freaking bat. And if someone... I remember sometimes we would hear a noise late at night. My dad would just come off, you know, come off out of the room with his shirt off. Just pick up the bat and just be walking around the house like this. He looked like a damn blood born boss. You know, just like, like this. No one was going to step up to my dad. But it's kind of surprising because we did live in the hood for a large majority of our life. And I maybe did have one now that I think about it. <sighs> they had a tendency to look for the good in other people, which really rubbed off on me growing up in a Christian household, seeing the light in other people. But as I got older, what I realized is that there are many people in this world that have lost their light. The light has gone out in their life and they seek to destroy the light in other people. And that's a real thing. That's evil. That's evil. And they, you know, they are out there. Now you should not live in fear, but also just thinking positive is oftentimes not a good course of action or good for anything of that nature. I also have been training jujitsu for a couple years now, and I made it to purple belt. Again, this is something that does not make me feel any more masculine. Nothing of the sorts. Owning a firearm, same thing. What these things do is make me feel more responsibility. For myself to be sober, to be prudent, to be awake. This is the cool thing I've, I've noticed. When you, when you take on, you could call it responsibility, when you, when you take on new aspects in your life that demand you to be, to be more of yourself, they give your life meaning and they give you a sense of weight in this world. I think the reason so many of guys are suffering these days is because they don't have anything that demands their presence. They have nothing that demands them to be seen by other people. And so what is demanding of them is their attention online to the internet, which oftentimes develops a weird personality because it, it does not have to get combated, you know, and rubbed up against anyone else to, to keep them sharp. So it, the more filth that you consume online, you just start to become a little bit weird. You know, you start to get some weirdness to you. So you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be aware of this. And that's why, again, I say another reason is to get around good men. You know, that's why I recommend the dojo is because that's where you find the police officers and the firefighters and the businessmen and the lawyers and the guys that are, are good men that like you can actually trust, like good individuals. There'll always be some, you know, some uh, dummies, but you know, the majority is, is good men. So with that being said, li listen, I think it's up to us as we get older, we should continue. It's, it's a part of a man to be a warrior. I don't mean that in a romantic sense. I mean, it is your duty to defend yourself and the people that you love. To have the ability to stop somebody from trying to kill you, to be able to dominate a situation that, you know, has real consequences, man, to be able to like, to be prepared for that. And when you're not prepared, it makes you feel weak. 
So you want to be prepared. Now, I'm not telling you, hey, man, go out and buy a farm. I'm not telling you anything like that. I don't even know. You know, a lot of the guys in our group in the UK, they're in the UK. Um, I don't even, Australia, I don't think you can own a firearm there either. A lot of these guys have just gotten into boxing, got into jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, learned some sort of self-defense, and that's good. That's freaking great, man. But if you're in the U.S. and you, you know, we have the Second Amendment, thank God, and you're old enough, think about it. This thing, this thing scared me. Scares me. It, 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 it is is intimidating, right? This is very intimidating. Before owning one, before firing one, I only saw it on you, you know Hollywood. John Wick just free <laughs> Hollywood. This weapon of destruction. And then I realized that I probably need to be able to understand this thing and not just have this fantasy in my head. Okay. And so that's what I did. And I went to the firing range. I watched so many tutorials. I learned about, you know, the ins and outs of this thing, how to operate it safely, how to, how to be respectful with it. You never want to point that muzzle in, in the direction of something that you're not willing to destroy. Okay. And <clears throat> again, I, I think that you should think about this defending yourself. I think you should be able to defend yourself. Now, when it comes to martial art, listen, you do not need this level of mastery, purple belt. I think that's probably overkill, really, um, unless you really like the art and you want to compete and you just want it to be part of your life, then sure, keep showing up. But everyone would be good with like six months to a year of jiu-jitsu and wrestling. Usually, you're going to get a little combination of both when you go. Six months to a year is like white belt, a few striped white belts. And get your blue belt in a year, year and a half, two years. But you just need to learn how to pin someone, how to take someone down, how to pin them, how to get their arms and leg or their arms pinned, how to control them from the back, how to choke, you know, correctly, and how to escape a bad position. Okay. Um, if you, I'm not here to argue the effectiveness of jujitsu in a street fight. I pray to God that I can use my verbal jujitsu and then my jujitsu. And then if someone's trying to kill me and they have a weapon that could possibly kill me and they have the intent and they are close enough to do so, then I use this thing. I never want to pull that thing out unless it's out the range or to stop someone from killing me or someone I love. But I think that you guys would be good at doing some form of martial art. Um, you know, striking Muay Thai, boxing Muay Thai with some grappling, those two fused together, you're a beast. Okay, you're a beast. And that's really it. That's really it. When you take more responsibility in your life, your life has meaning. I think that's just a natural thing that you'll find it as you get older. And I think that part of the reason you may not feel a weight on this earth, because we haven't really stepped up to the plate. You haven't decided to become someone that can dominate in certain areas of life. You're, you're being dominated. And I'm not going to get too philosophical about this, but really to be dominated makes a man feel like a slave, to feel weak, to feel captured. So you need to be able to have sovereignty and dominion in your life, to be able to dominate to feel capable, to feel powerful. We have way too many guys in this space. They love that quote. It's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. You go on any self-improvement video, you freaking see this, any cliche self-improvement video, there, you see that damn quote. It's like, I can guarantee 90% of, 90 of these people never have been in a fight. They have no martial arts training and they most people don't know even how to operate a gun safely. So, and they don't even know how to grow anything. So they're not gardeners or warriors. <laughs> you know, they may like, dude, what is going on? Everyone likes to LARP. And it's, again, this is, this should not be a LARP. That's what I'm saying. Too many, this is not a pivotal moment in this channel either. We're not going into firearm reviews or, you know, going to be changing up into just this. It becomes a LARP, but too many guys just working out. Dude, those, 
you work out all you want for your aesthetics. Okay, you, you're strong and healthy, I get it. But there's more to life than lifting some iron off the ground. And your life demands that you see that there is more to life than this cage that you have put yourself in. You must be capable of defending yourself. You must be capable of multitude of things. But if you lack the defense part, you will feel weak. And I think you will pay for that. So it's worth considering, hey, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should train and have a little bit of preparedness in my life. Listen, I want the best for you, bros. So keep it eye through most. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.